One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is a 1985 Mercedes Benz 250 W123 limo. Someone's here with me today. What's your name again? Lily. Uh, it's Lily, that's right. And the kid's going to be doing the review. We're just going to do a quick walk around to where you can see how it looks. And then we're going to go up close. And the second time, what do we tell them? We should, what do we find? Uh, give us a hole in the tire. Find a hole in the tire or anything like that. Any damages, I'll show you that. Come back this way. Perfect. Could you tape it? Tape it? We're taping it right now. Tape the tire? No, you could not tape the tire. And I will bet you, you're not the only person to wonder that. And there's been some awfully old people before that tried something like that. And it ain't going to work. So that's the car that once around. I'm going to go now, show you any damages. The car's been off the road for a while. Um, this is the worst tire. You can see it's all split out. And it'll probably go flat while we're doing the video. Yeah. Wheel wells, clean as can be. I'm going to show you underneath. Underneath, awesome. clean. I have a lolly in my mouth. She has a lollipop and she took the stick out. She's got this figured out. So that's that. Uh, underneath here, very clean. The little patina like that is all you get. There's no rust through anywhere. And nobody's bashed this around. Very cool, rare piece here. Um, for the American. Very shiny, huh? And the Euro bumpers, baby. You don't get these Euro short bumpers on a W123 like this in America. We just don't see them. And these pieces are usually all rotted out. These have usually been bashed around. Absolutely beautiful set of bumpers. Um, and rubbers. That's one of my favorite things on the car. The Mercedes Benz logo. Okay, you can see the paint is faded. It's just old and it's sat. Clear coat's all gone. You can see where there's clear coat here. And it's it not kind here. Of lost its paint. And it just lost the paint because the clear coat left. Yeah. So that's what you're dealing with. Like screwy. Like screwy was losing paint. Her mom had a car and it was doing the same thing. And there'd be spots and everything like this. The good thing about no, this car. We didn't use it anymore. We didn't use it no more. There's no rust. These are tight. No rust around all this. It's tight. Tight, tight, tight. And now we do the thing where we look for dings. So down this side, this fender, I got one right here. I found the first one. Yeah, little scratches. But that's where the clear coat is. We're looking for a ding. Like that. This door here is actually straight as can be. There's a ding right there. Where? Right there. You're going to have to look from the side. You can come back here and look right there. You stay right there and I'll show you three of them down here. You'll see what I mean. Very clean right there. Right there, and right, look. Right there, right there, right there. You see them? And that's it. That's all you got for dings. And all this trim, you got a ding in that trim right there. The lights are in great shape. Going across the back, this bumper is in beautiful shape. I usually find them, but we can't get in the puddle. We can't get in the puddle. He lightly backed into something there, I think, but it doesn't look to have bent the bumper. They can see we got a horny toad out on a hike today. And maybe we'll throw a picture of that in here. I got a picture. So that's the only dings on this side, really. Maybe I missed one. But I'm here to tell you, wheel wells around the openings, everything. Not rusty. Roof, same thing. The paint's faded. You're dealing with faded paint. It's just old, faded paint. This car with a paint job, who buddy. You got a scratch over there? Let me find it. Yep, a little scratch right there. Trunk lid's pretty clean. Chrome's good. Big scratch, not cool. Big scratch, not cool. Little scratch, okay. And this paint, you're repainting it anyway, so what the heck, all the scratches will be gone. But, why don't you go ahead, find them. What are we showing them? Start at the back, we're gonna, where, do you see anything on this panel? Tiny scratches here. You see anything else? Come on. Okay, it's a big one. There's a big scratch. And no dings, really. No rust starting at the bottom yet. The tires are just absolutely gone. Um, keep showing. You got it. Little scratches right here. And not really any dings, but it's been chipped up along the edge, like parking lot stuff. Mm -hmm. See anything else? Let me know. I see. Bubbles in the bubbles. tent. Bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Little scratchy scratch. This is. I don't know if it's a scratch or a drip down. Um, little scratch here. 
faded on this door. Everything's faded. It's just faded. Faded? God, there's just not much. There's a ding right there. It's hard to find a ding. It's a straight car. Somebody really took care of this thing. That's for sure. Okay, so besides that, wheels. Oh, my mom. Okay, so back at you here. I had a phone call. The wheels, you can see what's happening. They've corroded around here. Um, this is actually kind of... But look. Needs to be sanded down, my ground lollipop. down, sandblasted. Okay, we'll show the lollipop. And we'll put a picture of the lizard in here because she wanted to show that. And down below, you can see there's just no rush. You can hear the air leaking out. Um, it's yeah. not going to, it won't last for 10 minutes. So. Yeah. And look, each tire is split. And it, they all have this on it. So I don't know if you just put some Mexican hat wheels or some um, monoblocks. There you go. Get on the puddle. Monoblocks would be awesome. Sorry I had to swing around the puddle and stuff there. Um, it doesn't have the correct thing here, so it's zip tied up on the muffler. I didn't have the correct O-ring. Actually, I would hear zip zoom kind of. I can go for that. I have lots of them. They're in there somewhere. Can't find them. Okay, so that's your review. That's your car. It's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. And you can see a couple wrinkles in the tintina stuff, <laughs> stuff like that. Other than that, though, absolutely gorgeous. Ready for your project car needs and all that stuff. Also that. You got to have the Mercedes logo. And this. This is just such a slick piece right there. One owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior video of this absolutely gorgeous W123 Mercedes-Benz limo. It's a 250. This tire is trash. I put some in it to where you can see how it looks up and all that. However, the car is not going to set up by the end of this video. So, that's it. I'm going to just show you a nighttime type dusk, I guess you'd call it, uh, shot to where it's not as bright. Although that shot there is pretty dang bright, ain't it? Um, I don't know if this makes my lighting different or what. But Bah, who knows? Okay, so that's it. You got your nighttime view. I got a water puddle here I'm contending with. Um, and if you're interested, Nathan, 406 546 8748. I'm going to show you the interior. And I'm going to start it at some point. I don't know how I'm going to edit this all together, but we're doing. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, I'm here. I'm back. However, I am. I don't know. I don't know how I'm editing this in or anything else. I just know that I started to do the interior review on this car, and then I realized I already took this off and put some gas in it, but I've actually got six extra floor mats, all of them, that pretty much fit. There was an 86 or to 95 300E W124 manual in the actual um, car, in the glove box. Now, I want to show how clean this carpet is now. And it was just a quick brush and a little soapy water. And that's all we used. Um, it's not exactly perfect. You can see fold over, but there's no tears anywhere. Look at that. It's not a tear, it's fold over. So I don't know if you've seen where they spray the SEM paint on it. It's 15 bucks a can. But these seats would look pretty much new. Um, yesterday, there was stuff in here. It's all clean. We got the wheel lock in there. Sorry if I'm off a little bit. My broken hand still hasn't really healed up yet. We got these pieces, and I thought they were for here, but I don't think they are now because they don't stretch far enough. And they actually have this piece. I thought it was broken. I'm sorry. It's actually machined into it. I can't tell with my hand throws you so far so far off. This piece was um, glued on. It is cracked right here. And I'm showing, and I'm not looking in the screen. I need to look in the screen. Right there, there's a little crack. Showed you the dash, but these carpets are beautiful. And there's a couple. How you doing, girl? She didn't hear me. Look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. These could be shampooed, and they would look pretty close to new. I mean, the carpets in this car and the seats, there's no tears, rips, anything like that, holes. It's in great shape. It's not all rusty. The car needs paint. Does it need a set of wheels? That's your call. I would actually sandblast these and re-chrome them or something to that degree, paint them, I don't know. I know it's clean, I know it's nice, I know I had my phone out because I was going to add the 
flashlight option to like show you but I'll tell you what it's so clean that it's just blinging in the pictures and you can basically see what I'm showing you that it's clean and if you've seen the old video where I had the mat still in this is like 10 to 15 minutes of um you pull this out and when you pull it out I'm sorry I'm gonna have to put this down to do it sorry oops when you pull it out you pull it up and that comes down so now you've seen that now you've seen how clean that is the rugs are clean rugs are clean I would still shampoo them because if you shampoo them I think you're gonna have an amazing thing and I would do the for 35 45 bucks worth of SEM these seats would just look gorgeous and you're so close on the exterior look at this look at the wheel wells just beautiful I don't know how I'm gonna edit this all together or anything like that I just know that I've got a beautiful W123 250 limo you need it I don't know how I edited this together but I know I'm done and I hope you enjoyed okay interior it's in great shape it is in absolutely great shape look at this it's not all ripped up it's not all torn up tiny little slice in the piping right there you can barely see um, door panels good condition um, we didn't even clean this up um, didn't even spray it with nothing and do nothing that guy should clean it and do the respray and the SEM oh my goodness you do this this thing would look so nice a little wear right there but look up that video on YouTube it's crazy what they do no wear on the pedals it's only got 97,000 um, a couple small flat but still cracks in the dash Good news is W123 dashes are cheap. Unleaded only, baby. 97,000. There's a little sticker right there. Kind of makes it blurry. Um. Oh, keys in my pocket. Power amenities. This seat, look over there. Just nice. This piece of wood, I actually have. I don't know why it wasn't glued on. Why? Why wouldn't that be finished? I have people who finish things but I guess that's it's nothing glue the stuff on there it's easy not you not you not that guy not this guy no guys okay I can't I can't believe that this just, I can't there you go armrest great shape this has fallen out of the tracking track a little bit but it is functional there's a split there. This clip is broke. That might have been on there for a reason. Sure was. And very smart too. Because if this light comes on, the car will go dead. So they had that on there to hold it down. Cool stuff. Okay. Um, you know, I think the key has to be on. Does the key have to be on for that, or does it just not work? I don't know. We'll check it after we look at the rest of the car. Three-row limo, baby. Kind of cooler than a wagon in a certain way. A little mark. A smudge. Um, I think you pull this out. And lay it down. And then pull this. I'm going to have to set it down. Because you pull this one out. And you can flip it up. Just like that. I'm going to flip. Oh, there's the key. It was in my pocket. And I laid it down. Back seat's in great condition. Look at this. Even got the little old man's hat and umbrella. I just left it there. It might have been actually Mary Poppins. I don't know who owned this thing. Get my key here. Don't forget that. I'm going to pop the hood while I'm up here on this side it's a great car um, seal around the antenna is gone it just needs someone to redo it and what's cool is it's not all rusted to heck or nothing it's just it's a clean car look at this still got all the original lining and everything in here um, it's not even all cracked up original Mercedes stuff this original jack toolkit in there. Uh, this tire is a little bit big. 
and that's why this sits a little bit odd. It's because the tire is a little bit bigger. It should be. Look at there. Think about that. What the correct? Yeah, buddy. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. It's 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 clean. That's just what there is to say about it. It's a clean car. How did I lock that? I don't know. But I guess I did. Okay. Boom. That little thing comes out and it makes it do it to it. And actually, so you know, all the rows have seatbelts. And I don't know why these were left in here. You know, the detailing and stuff on my things right now is kind of getting to me because this is just, this will come right off of there. I mean, it's so simple to do. I, I don't know. You know, when you're in business, you can't check everything all the time. It's just not possible. And this should have been cleaned better. That's all there is to say about it. Um, but it's a super clean car. This just literally was not cleaned in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. I can't check everything. I don't know how to make it work. But I know that I can't scrub all that good with my broken hand. And it seems to be a lot of things. But I can't do that good with my broken hand. Look at this. They close so nice. These aren't even busted. That's a rare thing right there, baby. Okay. Under the hood. Let's do this. We'll talk about clean. We're going to talk about clean right now. This is actually the beauty of it. I didn't touch up this piece, paint it. Some people flat black them and such. But I didn't. we didn't put no spray under it. We didn't do, yeah, we didn't do lots of things on this car. But um, you can see the gasket is just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Clean as can be, everything on this car. Look how clean it is. I showed you under the front of the hood. But it's just an exceptionally clean car. Um, it's a great shape. I'm going to... Oh yeah, baby. Man, I gotta get a picture. Okay. W123 limo. You've seen the inside. You've seen the outside. You've seen anything, any troubles, any issues. Um, I think I have a... Should have a key somewhere. Jeez, pockets are full. Oh no, here we gotta get the key again. There we go. Sorry. Oh no, you know, everything seems like a problem today for me. So I'm just being over. It ain't gonna start, it's gonna need some fuel put in it. Okay. There you go. There you go. That one, that one hops a little bit. This one does not work. Seems like a switch or motor, I don't know. Oh, and there goes the rest of that one. The switch for that mirror does not work. Um, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the stuff in the car right now. I'm back. I poured some gas down the car. Let's see this thing go. You're gonna hear it crank over at some point. I didn't put very much. There you go. That's probably what you're gonna get. It's a good um, motor. That's what you get. So it's a runner. You definitely have exhaust leak, and you definitely need to do a little work on it. The carburetor needs a rebuild, and it needs a fuel pump. That's the problem. It ain't pumping fuel, and it, I guess it could be because the carb is not sealed up and just sucking air. So first thing, carb. Second thing, maybe fuel pump. That's the car. I knew it would go flat. These wheels were cool before they were like this. I mean, they are just a little toasted. I'd get them all sandblasted and painted or something. Okay, so that's the deal. If you're interested, call me up. Nathan, 406-546-8748. www.oneownercarguy.com. And it's on Breeder's Collar. It's on Breeder's Collar, too. And what do they do? What do we need them to do? Uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then after that, there's a bell. There's a bell. Click on it. You can click on it. So click you the... You have to. You have to. You have to. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll throw the interior in here in a little while. And Lily's off. She learned how to use an air compressor today. It's quite a day, I tell you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.